Here we shall see how the open circuit characteristics test on a DC shunt machine will help to determine the machine parameters. First, let us have a look at what is the open circuit characteristics. It is a plot of voltage generated against field current when the machine is operating at a particular speed. The circuit diagram used to plot the OCC is here. The field winding of the machine is excited from a DC source and the current is controlled by a series connected rheostat to vary the field current from zero to the rated value and the corresponding voltage generated across the armature is measured and plotted. The graph shows a small voltage even when the field current is equal to zero and that is because of the residual magnetism in the field poles. The generated voltage is initially proportional to the field current, but as the field current increases, we can observe a bend in the curve. This is due to the magnetic saturation of the field poles at higher values of field current. We shall see an example problem for the DC generator. The DC shunt generator has the following characteristic when operating at its rated speed of 1500 rpm. The data for plotting the OCC, that is a set of field current values and the corresponding generated voltage is available. The field winding resistance is given as 325 ohms. We have to find the voltage induced with no additional resistance in the circuit. Then the resistance to be added to generate a particular voltage of 220 volts, the critical resistance and the critical speed of the machine. The first step is to plot the OCC from the given data. First the data points are marked in the graph and a smooth curve is drawn connecting all the points to form the open circuit characteristics curve. The next thing is to draw the field resistance line. The field resistance is given as 325 ohms and it can be represented as a straight line in the graph. Resistance is the ratio of voltage to current. If you are applying 325 volts, the corresponding current will be 1 ampere. But here in the graph, 325 is beyond the maximum value of the voltage scale. So we have to take a different pair that is 165.5 and 0.5 amperes, which are half of the previous pair. And the corresponding point F is marked in the graph. Then a line is drawn connecting the origin and the point F and extend it. This is the RF line, which represents the field resistance of the machine. Now we can try to find out the voltage induced in the armature with no additional resistance in the field circuit. See that the shunt field winding is connected in parallel with the armature. The developed voltage is obtained from the point where RF line cuts the OCC. And we can find this voltage as 240 volts from the graph. Next we shall find out the resistance to be added to generate an open circuit voltage of 220 volts. We have seen that 240 volts will be generated without any additional resistance in the field circuit. To reduce the voltage, some resistance is to be added. From the graph, we should find out the field current required to produce 220 volts and that is obtained as 0.55 amperes. Then the corresponding resistance in the field circuit is obtained by dividing the voltage by current. That is 220 by 0.55 which is equal to 400 ohms. We are already having 325 ohms in the field winding. So the additional resistance to be added is 400 minus 325 and it is equal to 75 ohms. 
Next, the critical resistance. Critical resistance is the resistance of the field circuit above which shunt generator will fail to excite at the rated speed of operation. It is obtained by drawing a tangent to the open circuit characteristic starting from the origin. The slope of this line represents the critical resistance value. To find the slope, a vertical line AB is drawn which will connect the field current axis and the critical resistance line. OA and AB are measured from the graph as 0.5 amperes and 231 volts respectively. The critical resistance is AB by OA that is 231 by 0.45 which gives a result of 513 ohm. This means if the resistance in the field circuit is more than 513 ohms, then the generator will not excite. No excitation means no voltage generated. The last one is the critical speed. It is a speed below which the DC shunt generator will fail to excite. To find this, a point C is marked which is the point of intersection between RF line and line AB. Then the critical speed is calculated by the relation rated speed into AC by AB. Substituting the values from the obtained graph, it is 1500 into 146 divided by 231 and is equal to 948 rpm. So 948 rpm is the critical speed of the machine. That means if you are running the machine at a speed below this, the generator will not excite. Incidentally, we may observe another point here. A plot of OCC at the critical speed of 948 rpm will have the RF line as its tangent. Resistance cannot be less than what is represented by the RF line and if the speed goes below the critical speed, the generator will not generate the normal voltage. That's it. Thank you for watching.